Hello, good morning. I am back and today is Sunday. It's it's Sunday, um, September 6th, and I wanted to do a weekend reading vlog even though the weekend is almost over. <laughs> so I'm just gonna change this to a reading vlog. I just wanted to share some of the books that I've been reading and kind of go through my day. It's been a while since I've said hi on my channel, so this is gonna be the first video. I don't mind my hair right now. My hair is in twists, so I'll be taking that out. But um, I have a few books that I need to get read this weekend. Well, one book that I need to get read this weekend um, for a book club. And then there's another book that I just want to finish this weekend. So since it's Labor Day weekend, I figured I would spend some time today and tomorrow reading it. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through my day. My house is kind of a mess right now, so I may show me cleaning it, depending on how um, <laughs> how much I want to show you because it's a hot mess right now because I've been busy with work. But yeah, so today is just going to be a reading vlog. So if you're interested, follow along with me. So let me first show you guys what books I want to read and then I'm going to do my morning reflection which is when I kind of sit down, relax a little bit and figure out what I want to do for the day. Then I'm going to do my hair and start reading. So yeah, let me go get the two books that I want to read. Okay, before I get started, Chevy's in the background, lurking as normal. Hey, Chevy. <laughs> he really does not like being on camera, but he's there. Um, I also got new bookshelves, so I might show you guys some of that. I'm still kind of working on the layout because I'm not really happy with this right now. So you can stack like two rows of books, which is not ideal, but I live in a studio apartment, so the more storage the better I guess <laughs> but so I've tried to put all the books that I've read in the back and then all of the books that I need to read in the front so they're kind of first of mind but I also took pictures of the back rows so I have a reference in case I ever need to go back there and find them but yeah I'm just still not really happy with it I also got new bookshelves in my living area so I will show you those as well so it's kind of still a mess but I, I like them I like they're white if you've seen my other bookshelves they were the Billy Ikea like dark brown shelves they worked really well in my other apartment but for this one I just wanted to brighten up the area brighten up the room a little bit so I decided to go with white and the ones in the living room are like a light beech wood um, that match a lot of the wood textures in my room I guess in my house um because I have a very similar Ikea table that matches the shelves and all that so I'll show you that in a little bit but yeah I thought I would share because I'm really happy with it um I'm not happy with the layout of the books but I'm really happy with the shelf themselves so yeah okay so the two books that I need to read are the I need to finish I think it's like close to 100 pages in the Tower of the Swallow, the Switcher book. It's the fourth Witcher book. So um, why I haven't really been online is I've really been just reading these and it's really hard to talk about um, books in a series without really spoiling anything. But my mom and my older sister have been basically buddy reading these for the past, basically since May, I think. Um, so we're on the fourth book now. I think there's one more book and then there's a prologue I believe I'm not sure but we've already read the the two like short story collections to the last wish and the sword of destiny so yeah so we're about halfway through this one so I need to finish this up before our book club meeting at six today which I think should be not that hard to do um, it's probably it's a little less than 100 pages I believe so yeah I'm the Witcher series is a little different. It's not what I was expecting. I sort of see the hype, but I also 
sort of don't see it. I'm, I'm a little torn on this series because I do enjoy it. I really like the characters, but it kind of goes against traditional storytelling a lot, and there's just a lot going on, and I feel like intentionally he tries to confuse you, the author, and I'm just, I'm not sure. I need to, like, finish the series to find, get my final thoughts, but this one is probably my favorite of the series so far because a lot's happening in the previous books. Not a ton happens, if I'm being frankly honest, but yeah, I, I can get the hype of this book, but I just don't know if it's really for me. I I really like Geralt, I really like Dandelion, and I like the story, but I feel like it drags on a little too much. But yeah, um, so there's that one, which I will be reading first, and then I just got Ray Bear in the mail. So this is really the, the star of this blog, I guess, um, or this vlog. I really want to get through Ray Bear by Jordan, Jordan Ifueku. This book I am was obsessed with when I heard about it. And then a little birdie told me that there is some ace representation in this story. So that made me even more interested in picking this book up. So yeah, I really want to try to get this done over the weekend. I will, regardless of whether or not I finish it over the weekend, oh, look at that, that's really pretty. I will complete the vlog once I finish this so I can capture all of my um, thoughts and opinions <laughs> in this vlog. So yeah, I don't think it's super long. The text is pretty big, so ooh, that's a pretty picture. Wow, I'm like really excited about this book. Um, let's see. If we go just the text and not like it's okay, so it's like 340 pages, which is not super bad. I don't know if I'll finish it this weekend, um, even with the long weekend, but we'll try. We'll see how this vlog motivates me. I'm hoping that with recording this, it'll be a little easier to get finished. So, yeah. Enough of the rambling, those are the two books. So I'm going to work on my morning reflection, do my hair, and then start reading. Hey guys, so I just finished reading my, like, up to where I needed to be in the Witcher book. Um, yeah, I'm still enjoying it. It's, this is still like my favorite book. I think a lot's happening, though the last chapter I read not a lot happened. I just, I don't know. You just follow so many characters. It's really hard to like figure out what parts are important to the story and what's kind of just added in there to add character and world building, all that. But overall, I enjoyed that and it didn't take me very long to get through. So um, I'm not sure what time it is right now. I need to get my phone. But I wanted to show you the living room bookshelves because I showed you what the other place looked like so so this is what the living room looks like sorry I have the fan on in the other room um and you can see a pile of clothes that's great but anyway this is what the bookshelves look like the um they're wooden bookshelves from Ikea I think they're actually supposed to be for the bathroom like a shelving unit for your bathroom, but I thought they looked really cute here and they fit this wall perfectly. So this TV was actually in on the other side of the wall in my bedroom, um, but I moved it over here in the living area. So yeah, this is more books that I have not read yet that I need to read. Um, but yeah, I think that it looks really cute. I have a plan up there and yeah, so before I had a one of the brown billy bookshelves over here. This is kind of where I filmed. If I have a picture, I'll put it up on the screen. But I think this looks just a little more organized and brighter. And I like having the TV in here versus in where my bedroom is. And then I used to have like books lining this wall here and like this wall here. So now with the new bookshelves, all the books pretty much are on shelves. I have a few other books, but it used to be like stacks on stacks on these walls. So I think I'm gonna like get a chair too for this area for like another reading 
nook, but I'm not sure because I really don't use like the bar area for anything. So yeah. So that's kind of what the place looks like. She'll be sleeping. Um, but yeah, those are the shelves and I think they just look really great. So now I, I just had breakfast or I guess like lunch. I really don't know what time it is. I think it's almost 11, so I guess it's breakfast. But I just had eggs and I think I'm going to take a break from reading. I usually take notes for my Witcher book club, so I'm gonna do that and I usually take it on my iPad. So I'm gonna take a few notes of what I read and then after that, I'm probably gonna take a break and watch some YouTube videos and then start on Ray Bear. I need to also do some grocery shopping, I think today, but I need to prep what I need to buy. So that might be something I do. Lately, I've been just getting HelloFresh, but I didn't really like any of the recipes that were coming in next week. So I need to buy some stuff to basically hold me off until Thursday of next week. And then I'm going to be visiting my sister in Charleston on Friday. And because I took off Friday of next week as well. So yeah, that's all to say more work to be done. And I really need to clean the house. As you can see, lots of piles of clothes everywhere. So I need to do laundry and some other things like that. Hey, so um, it's still Sunday. I just finished doing my notes for the Witcher book club and I just unloaded some laundry. So working on that too. Um, I'm sitting on the floor right now because I am going to be wrapping some books. So I don't think I announced it on my YouTube channel at all. But I do have an Etsy shop where I spray paint the edges of books. So I just, well, it's been a while. I've had these for like a couple of weeks now, but I got the Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. And I am gonna be spraying the edges of these for my Etsy shop. I put a, um, a image on my Instagram so if you want to see more of the books that I've been spray painting check out my Instagram downright bookish um, and I'm doing a very cool ombre effect on this one so it's gonna be yellow a green and blue I actually have one that I've tested out that is gonna be my copy let me go and get it okay so this is the one that I spray painted for myself I was testing out the colors to make sure they match correctly, but it's going to be a blue, green, yellow ombre effect. I think it came out pretty well. I'm going to be doing some Amore tests for the blue because it does match the end paper pretty well, but it's not really quite this like baby blue color that's on the cover. It's more of like a light neon blue, so I'm going to be doing some tests to get a better color match for the ones that I'm going to be selling. But yeah, so I'm just basically going to be taking off the dust ashes of the ones that are clean and then wrapping them in newspaper so I can prep them for spray painting. I don't know if I'm going to be spray painting this week, but since it is a longer week, I might do it. Um, just mix up the paints and do some more paint testing. But yeah, I have a couple of books that I have on my Etsy shop right now. I have um, The Well Wide Black Girl. I think I have two more available copies of that. It's um, a orange color on the edges, which matches the cover of the book. I also have The Fascinators, which is a queer book about magic. I haven't read it yet, but it sounds really interesting. Um, so I spray painted that in a bright pink color that matches the cover. And then I also have The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu, which is her newest book in a blue color. You can also get it in a silvery gray color with sparkles. So yeah, um, this also kind of has sparkles. It's really hard to tell. Um, it's really hard to like film the sparkle and I don't know if I wanna like overdo the sparkly element because personally, I favor matte more, but I know people really like 
the sparkly ones too but yeah so all that to say i'm going to be <laughs> wrapping my books sorry if there's a lot of noise the door is open because chevy's out there let me see if i can show you this is on my tripod right now but i will show you him chilling outside so yeah he's just out there enjoying life right now i have my ps4 on because i'm about to watch him youtube on my tv that's what's on the agenda for today it's about it's about one o'clock now I am getting a little bit hungry, but there's really not much for me to eat in the house right now. I do have a HelloFresh that I could make, but I think I'm saving that for dinner. So, and I've been kind of craving McDonald's, which is not great, but I think I might go to Mickey D's. Um, yeah, we'll see. So, I'm just gonna wrap these, watch some YouTube, and relax before I figure out what I want to do for lunch. Hey guys, so it's the next day, Monday. I did some stuff yesterday, but my camera pretty much died, so I didn't really have much time to record it, which is upsetting. But I finished wrapping the books that I was gonna be spray painting. I think I'm gonna try to spray paint them today. And my parents came into town for Labor Day weekend, so yesterday I didn't start reading Ray Bear, which I'm kind of upset about because I started this morning and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm about 50 pages in, um, so not much has happened other than like what we're told in kind of the synopsis of the story. Um, Teresai, the main character, is now in the palace with the prince and I'm just really excited because I know from what I've heard about this book is that it's mainly focused on their friendship and I don't think there is any romantic relationship between Teresai and the prince which I'm all here for I think and just seeing them interact for the first time was just so sweet like it's it's almost like making me tear up a little because it's just so like endearing and I think I don't know their connection is like very what's the word it's just very innocent and I really I really like that about the story so far I really like Tara Sai as main character I think she's very interesting and I like how the story is kind of progressing. Um, what I do really appreciate in this story is that there is a glossary as well as like a character list and pronunci pronunciations for each of the characters. So I really appreciate something in, like that in a book because it really does help with the reading. And I think that was one thing that I mentioned in my Kingdom of Souls review that I did that I feel like was lacking in that story is just no glossary of terms and that is kind of difficult to really like get into the story but this does the only thing that I feel like is missing in the story is a map of the world I feel like having a map of this world would be perfect but I I mean I feel like she explains it in a way where you don't necessarily need it but because there are so many different like parts of the kingdom that come together I think it would be cool just to have a map but that's just me personally <laughs> but anyway i i really like the story and i'm really excited about it and yeah i think it's gonna be one of my all-time favorites at least from what i'm reading so far we'll see how it progresses but i'm really enjoying it so far and again i'm only like 50 pages in so who knows but I did want to like talk about just how happy I am to know that books like this are coming out and that young black girls and black boys that are reading have something that they can read and kind of like see themselves in. It was something I was severely lacking and a lot of people my age were lacking, especially if they were like avid readers. There weren't a ton of books like this, um, especially in the young adult genre. Um, but yeah, it's like... I'm a little kind of torn because while I am like very happy that these are being written, it's kind of like, why weren't these written when I was younger? But I'm glad that I get to read it now too and that I still enjoy reading these kinds of books. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I didn't realize how, I I guess I, I knew, but I didn't realize how young um, Teresa is in the beginning parts of the story. She's 11 currently. I don't know 
how like how far the book progresses like if it spans years or something like that because I again I'm just kind of into it but it's interesting to see a young adult novel kind of start with a character that is so young um but I also I like that because she is so innocent and the prince is so innocent and they're just like kids interacting and that's just so sweet to see so yeah I'm going to read a little bit more, I think. I am going to continue reading. I might show you guys some of that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, I just wanted to um, mention something as I was reading. Um, so, oh, sorry, my hair is like a hot mess too. <laughs> um, but as I was reading, they mentioned that she had to use the restroom and this they use chamber pots. But I thought it was like, I don't know. I feel like like bits like that when like authors mention people doing normal things that happen every day, like using the bathroom when women have periods and stories. I feel like it just makes the story so much more real and it's less about like depicting this like this ideal world and more about actually like depicting what real life is like so i don't know i thought that was just something i would mention because i think it's like something that i find while it's not like necessary in a story to include the act of including it just i don't know makes the story feel more real and natural to me i don't know but that was something i just wanted to say okay so i just finished reading the part one of Ray Bear. Um, a lot's happened <laughs> since I last talked to you guys. Um, I'm not gonna say too much because I feel like that would be spoiling a lot, but let's just say a lot's going down. Um, it does like progress a little bit farther, so now the characters are 15 years old. Um, so there is some kind of fast moving progression, so now they're more like young adults rather than like children. Um, but yeah, still really enjoying it, really liking the characters, um, so yeah, I think Kira is probably my favorite character, I just like her, she's, she, like, she just seems like a very strong-willed person and is kind of trying to find herself, um, on what she's learning and what she's been told by her parents and her mother, so yeah, I think I relate to her character the most of everyone. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. This has been, I don't know if I followed up yesterday or not. I probably didn't. Um, but yeah, I wanted to catch you guys up on how I'm doing with Ray Bear. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the naked book? Like that's stunning really got to give them props with the cover design and the book design for this but anyway so i'm way over halfway done with this book now let's see yeah i'm probably got 100 pages left i'm at part four so that's the last part and i think i've got 100 pages left how am i feeling about this book okay a lot has happened and I'm not gonna say what's happened because obviously that would be spoilers, but I figured out who the ace person was. I was actually pretty surprised. That kind of took me off guard, but I appreciated it. Um, so the character kind of, kind of mentioned being ace and then we haven't seen that character since. So um, I don't know how it's going to be addressed later on in the story or I'm assuming this is going to be a series, so later on in the series. But yeah, I teared up a little bit when the character was talking about their experiences. So that was good times. <laughs> but no, it's it's a it's an it's a very like intimate moment, and um, you just. I feel like this person, I really like this character and we don't know a ton about them honestly throughout the book. So this kind of reveal just, I don't know, it just adds another layer to that person. So yeah, 
I really liked that. Um, one thing I'm not really liking is that, so I kind of guessed, or I like had some ideas of what I thought was gonna happen in this story and how it was going to progress. And normally I'm really bad at predicting like the plot twists in stories. I'm usually pretty surprised or don't really get all of it. But this, I pretty much guessed like 50 pages into the story. I knew exactly where this was going. And to my disappointment, that's exactly where it went. <laughs> so I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. I think the author might have just went a little heavy handed on the foreshadowing, but I don't think it really ruins the story in any way. I'm just kind of like, disappointed about the direction it's going, how it affects the relationship between two of the main characters. Um, because, I mean, what I've heard about the story a lot is that it focuses a lot on this friendship. And, and I liked the idea of having a group of people that loved each other, but it was not in a romantic way. It was more about the closeness of that friendship bond. And then to find out two people, their relationship is slightly different. I mean, they are friends, but it's more than that, I guess. So it's really hard to talk about this without spoiling anything. But all I'm saying is that I feel, it, to me, it kind of ruins it because I really wanted it to be just like a strong, strong friendship. But I don't think it's it would bother anyone else, honestly. Um, I'm really enjoying the writing. I'm really enjoying the world. I mean, this is the fastest I've read a book in a while. I mean, I started it on Sunday and I'm 100 pages left, so I'm hoping I'll finish it either today or tomorrow. That's what I really wanted to talk about. There's really not much else to say at this point. I really like the book. Obviously, I have a few gripes about it, but that's with any book, honestly. Once I finish this book though, I feel like I'm gonna crave another book similar to this. So if you have any suggestions on what I should read next, I have a ton of books that I could probably pick up that would be similar. I still haven't read the um, sequel to Children of Blood and Bone. What is that called? Um, Children of Virtue and Vengeance, potentially. Yes, I have that. I have The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, which I don't think is necessarily quite like this, but I stan N.K. Jemisin, so I could probably read that. I have also The Rage of Dragons I really want to read soon, but that's kind of a big book. But And I also have The Daughters of Neri, which I have not... I started, but I never finished it. And that I feel like is kind of similar to this. Um, like, similar genres, what I mean. Not like plot wise or story wise but similar kind of genre and feel so yeah if you got any suggestions on what I should read after this let me know because I'm I feel like I'm in a good reading mood lately I've just been like slumping and that's obviously why I haven't posted anything in a really long time like since May but I have been the only thing I've really been reading has been The Witcher because of the book clubs and I'm being <laughs> pretty much forced to read those. Um, the pressure of not getting a little reading done before the book club is the only thing motivating me to read that book at this point. Um, not that I'm not enjoying it, but what I mean is that I have really been in a bad reading slump. So this has kind of been pulling me out of that. So I don't, I wanna like keep the momentum going. So if there's anything you think I should read that would be like this if you read it or know what it's about and have any suggestions let me know and yeah so I'm gonna continue reading if there's anything like interesting going on I may come back on and share it with you guys hey it's pretty late but I just finished Ray Bear and uh, I'm kind of like disappointed because I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to. Um, I think like, honestly, all the hype and all the expectations I had for it just did not live up to the book. 
and I don't think that's like necessarily a bad thing I just think I think I hyped up this book too much in my mind and I just didn't live up to that and now I'm disappointed because if I probably didn't hype myself up for this book and really didn't like go get into it as much as I did before actually reading it I probably would have enjoyed this book so much and I did enjoy reading it like like I said I finished this book super quickly compared to my reading pace for the past several months and it was enjoyable to read but yeah I just I don't know the ending really didn't blow me away I guess I was kind of expecting it to leave off on a big cliffhanger and it really didn't I mean there's definitely going to be other books in this series it does leave off with like the potential for more books so that is very clear but it wasn't I don't know it just wasn't really what I was expecting honestly so I don't know I'm gonna continue on with the series don't get me wrong like I'm probably just being a baby <laughs> with the way I'm talking right now but I think there could be potential for it to go in, in interesting ways further on in the story. I mean the book does end off setting up for a very interesting next book in the series so I'm curious to see how that goes because it could go really well or it could kind of go like this first book I don't know but yeah that's I think all for this sorry about the weird light that's doing weird things with my hair um but I might sit down like tomorrow and do a more like detailed review slash overview of my like final thoughts of the book but I wanted to just get out my initial reaction after reading the last few pages of it um so yeah i i liked it i think there are going to be some interesting um developments in some of the characters that we saw briefly in this book they're definitely going to be developed more in the second books and things like that so i feel like there's potential in this series and i really do like jordan as a writer i think she is really good at storytelling so that's all I have to say right now. So yeah, I'll probably end this vlog with final thoughts um, tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm sitting in front of my bookshelves and I wanted to do a final wrap up of Ray Bear for you. I talked about it a little last night when I finished the book and I was kind of disappointed. So I kind of just want to give my overall thoughts on how I felt about the book. So I want to start with the things that I liked about this story. She has a way with words that just you almost don't notice <laughs> that you're reading a book because you're so kind of into the story and what's going on and everything made a lot of sense. So I really like that. I really like her ability to develop characters. We don't know a ton about some of the characters in the story, but you still feel like a strong connection to them. Um, Kira, Sanjit, and Dio are all like really strong characters and you get to like just see their connection with Teresai and how they all kind of come together to build this like really strong familial bond. So I really liked that. I like the world. I I am a sucker for a story that has a world that encompasses multiple like cultures into like a single kingdom or multiple kingdoms because I love seeing people from all different areas, all different backgrounds and I think she does that really well in this story. You have I can't remember if it's like 11 11 different 11 or 12 different kingdoms or different 11 or 10 different like kingdoms that are ruled by this one um are ruled um all all by the same ruler but they all have their different 
culture, different interpretations of religion, and I just really liked how she kind of incorporated those differences within the story and it definitely plays a bigger part in the overall themes and plots that are depicted in the story. But I really liked how much emphasis she put on the differences of each of these cultures and that they're still valuable despite being other or different. So overall, I think objectively, if I'm not looking at what I wanted this book to be and what I was expecting, I do think this book is really good. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to rate it yet, but I really do think I just, I do think it's going to be that book that a black or brown girl can read and really just find herself in and be happy that there is a story that, that centers around her and that's something that I really enjoyed about it. I wish more books like this had been published when I was younger because I do feel like I'm at an age where I'm kind of growing out of young adult and this is probably a topic for a whole nother video but I just feel like a lot of the young adult tropes I'm just kind of over and a little tired of and I don't know if it's because I've just saturated myself in young adult it's mainly what I read and I'm finding that I'm just being a little more critical of those stories and I'm not enjoying them as much and I kind of felt like that was the case with Ray Bear is that I was expecting it to break a lot of the young adult tropes and kind of go a little bit further but it still stayed within the very I don't want to say stereotypical because that sounds negative, but it is like it's this is very much a young adult story. It follows those young adult rules, I guess you could say. And I'm just I don't know. I'm just kind of like over that. And that's really sad because I think this book is really good and I do see the value in it. And I do think as a as a story, it's it makes sense. I just think I was disappointed because I thought there were a lot of opportunities where the story could have been pushed further. Things could have been, um, even like the romances could have been a little more like steamier. I know that's like the wrong word, but like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it played it safe. I'm kind of bored with stories that play it safe. I want something that is a little edgy, a little dicey, and I always bring up um, M.K. Jemisin's 100,000 Kingdoms series, or it's really the Inheritance series, but the 100,000 Kingdoms is the first book. That story just like, I don't know, it has so much grit to it that it's just, it's very intriguing and I don't like everything about that storyline. A lot of the plot sometimes can be confusing and convoluted, but I really, that story just has stuck with me for a very long time. And I read that back in like 2016 when I first started my channel. And I guess I was kind of expecting something like that because I know Jordan Ifueku really got a lot of inspiration from that series and talked a lot about that as she, as she was kind of describing this story. Yeah, so I felt like I was kind of expecting those kind of vibes in this story and I think she does bring that with obviously the different like cultures that come together and that is done really well but in terms of like the grit I just don't think the story was gritty enough. There was some tension but I don't feel like it was there was really anything at stake in this story that didn't and that kind of is what didn't keep me interested in it um or I don't know it kind of I wouldn't say it didn't keep me interested because I did consume the story very quickly but I just it just made me a slight bit disappointed in how it all turned out um so yeah those are my final thoughts I I still think if you you were interested in this story, definitely pick it up, especially if you're into young adult and especially if you're into um, stories that have 
African influences because this one is done very well. I really, really, really liked how she incorporated the different cultures of each of these. Um, I don't know what to call them because they're not really kingdoms, but different lands that were kind of come together. The mythology of the story is very interesting and I'm curious to see how it's going to be incorporated in future stories. The way this book ends is very intriguing. I mean, there's a lot of potential for interesting things that happen in the next book um, and how that's addressed. So I'm going to be continuing on with the series, definitely. I mean, Jordan Ifueku is going to be an automatic buy for me for anything she writes, just because I was really enjoyed her writing throughout. Um, so yeah, I think my biggest disappointment was kind of just the fact that it's young adult and it definitely follows that, those rules. I'm sure, um, a lot of that was probably from the editors as well, trying to make this book as marketable as possible. Um, so I don't, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say there. <laughs> I mean, I just don't, it's just a young adult story and it's just it yeah that's what it is so you're I feel like it's a little predictable and especially the fact that I was able to kind of guess what happened um very early on in the story left me a little disappointed because usually I'm horrible at predicting things and I kind of actually like that weakness because it makes stories more interesting um as I read but yeah I mean I think there was some surprises at the very end. That's all I really have to say about this book. I know it's like I've been <laughs> really conflicted, so I don't know how I'm going to rate it, but I, I do think everyone should read it if it sounds like something you'd be interested in because I feel like you'll find a lot of joy in it. I had an enjoyable experience consuming the story, and I think that's all that really matters in the end, you know? As long as you enjoyed reading it, does it really matter? I mean, I don't know. I enjoyed reading it, and I think it reinvigorated my desire to read again because I was in that slump. So that's got to count for something. So yeah, I definitely think this book is worth picking up. So yeah, thanks for watching this vlog. I hope it comes out okay because there's a lot of random clips that I need to put together after this. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll be, another video will be out soon, hopefully. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these vlogging style videos because that's just kind of like the mood I'm in. I feel like they're a little more candid than when I'm just like sitting down and talking a little more rehearsed because this is just, little less um planning involved too in terms of like not having to write a script because i'm just talking as i go so if this is a video you like let me know in the comments or by liking the video and it's great to be back and talking to you guys so thanks for watching and i will see you guys soon with another one bye